the problem is just getting worse. We used to get out there. I've been in this town 50 years, and this, this is the worst. It's not the view Clarence Smith used to see out his back window. Terrible. A highway sound wall covered in graffiti. Just last week, this alley near Rainbow and Westcliff was cleaned up. But Smith says it didn't take long for the mess to return. I have a dog now because they used to come over the fence and steal. So I, I, I bought a pit bull. Out on US 95, it doesn't look much better. Freeway signs and decorative walls are becoming regular targets, despite a new state law that makes convicted taggers responsible for cleanup costs. The sound walls went up to protect neighborhoods from freeway noise, a worthy cause as 95 expanded and traffic increased. But Smith says in many ways it's the vandals who are protected from view. It doesn't make no difference where you go. Anytime they can get up on top of the freeway and write this stuff, they can write it anyway. But as criminals get more creative, so do solutions. A cleanup goo called Elephant Snot was recently shown during a convention for the American Public Works Association in San Antonio. No word yet whether the snot will be used in Las Vegas, but other ideas are in the works. Our uh, crews will also be putting up what we call rag guards, which is to try to help prevent these people from being able to get up to the position where they can actually ride on the signs. As for Smith, he says a handful of graffiti vandals were arrested on his block this week. Yeah, they booked them. And driving a nice fancy car. He's not sure it'll make much of a difference in his neighborhood, but it is a start. I'm, I'm kind of like the man. A cane or something. <laughs> Denise Rosh, News 3. It comes up just as soon as we paint over it. In other news, a